James, your final pre-season preparations this evening against Kilmarnock. How have you found pre-season overall heading into the competitive action? Well, it's been really good. It's been a lot of hard work for the players and a lot of credit has to go to them. I think first we'll touch on the game tonight. I thought there were a lot of positives to come out of it. Obviously there were a few a few injuries and, and changes of shape throughout, but playing against Premiership opposition, I think the, the first thing we talk about is the pitch as well. Absolutely immaculate, and so that's credit to the ground staff here because it's probably not ready or where they would want it to be, but, but they allowed us to play on it, so that helped the game. It helped the game for Kilmarnock, it helped the game for us, I won't lie. I don't like losing games of football, but I think tonight we were... We're up against a decent team. Um, we knew that was going to be the case. That's why we, we took this game late on, and, and good luck to Kilmarnock for the season. But I think in that game we we could have been a bit a bit more instinctive at the top end of the pitch, and we'd have, we'd have come away with a, a couple of goals because we had we had decent chances. But I, I can't have any complaints with the players. They were excellent, and they have been throughout the whole of pre-season. But the real stuff starts now on Saturday. And we need to be ready for it. As you said, um, our Probably biggest test of pre-season so far tonight against Premiership opposition. How do you feel the players have adapted to, to playing against the higher league opposition tonight? What have you been able to take out of the match? A lot. Of the, they were causing us problems in the first half. They were overloading the midfield with, with the shape they're playing. But it's, they're good players. Um, Derek and Tony are very good manager and coaches. So we know that. and That's hence the reason we had built our pre-season in this way. And as I say, we're grateful getting on on this pitch as well, and, and so were Kilmarnock, but I don't think there were too much in the game. They had a lot to play, the first half hour were really good, and then like, changes of shape come in, but that's going to happen in a season. You're going to get tested in different ways, and players will get injured, players will get suspended, or they'll be ill, but it's nothing that, that, that we've not faced before, but not a lot of positives to come out tonight, and, and touch wood that the ones that didn't play, Dennis, was precautionary. Uh, taking Rhys Breen off was precautionary, so it'll be okay come Saturday and, and we'll be we'll taper down now and we'll, we'll, we'll build towards Saturday, which is a, a big game for us. You mentioned uh, the uh, injuries there to Rhys Breen and, and Dennis Mehmet, and particularly the goalkeeping situation, having to bring the trialist um, in late on in the, in the, in the warm-up. But he done really well, I thought, um, despite the, the, the goal. And, and then the, the right-back that came on in the second half seemed to impress as well. So you must be really pleased that you've brought guys in to, to look at and the, they're, they're giving you headaches. Yeah, and against a good side. Bert and Ethan were, were really good in the game. Yeah, like if a goalkeeper makes a mistake, nine times out of ten it's a goal. And he'll be disappointed with that. But he had some really good saves in the game as well that we can't we can't forget about because as did the Kilmarnock goalkeeper um, in certain situations. So both goalkeepers were good on the night uh, for both sides. But yeah, I've been, I've been pleased with them.